Hello and welcome to this video where we will be taking a look at the new micro snapshot 18w50a. It is a really exciting snapshot so let's get right into it. Welcome to this series where we are taking a look at the new snapshots for Minecraft and taking a look at what they contain. Let's now get right into it. So the first thing I want to show off is the new Taika village as you can see over there we got a tower i believe that is for a village yep there it is a village right there behind the hill yes they updated or they added a village in the tiger biome and they also updated the um the village in a desert so we'll be taking a look at that right after this village but let us first take a look at this one right here you know what let's start with the tower over here and also another thing the villagers have gotten sweet new updated textures and that is really really awesome so we are going to take a look at that but first let us take a look at these guys right here we actually got a new guy here and i believe this is one of the new villages um no sorry this is the librarian but they added a new village as well he currently do not have any trades but it will come in the future but let's now take a look at this tower it's a tower there with some stairs at the door. I can see a chest in there. Pretty nice little overhang here. We got some double door system for some reason. Um, we got a bed here. We got a crafting table and a torch. And if we go out and we go up here. So it's apparently a two-story building. We got a chest here with the new berries that they added and a emerald, which is pretty cool. Let's take a look at the buildings down here. I do want to speed this up a little bit just because there's a lot to cover in this one. So we gotta get right into it. Down here, it looks like we have some sort of working area with a grindstone here and a grindstone there. We also have a hut here with another chest with some stuff and a bed here and a crafting table. Very nice, very nice. And another hut, I think. No, this is not quite the same, but it has a chest in there as well. Um, we got some random pumpkin here, actually, Jack O' Lantern, so they do have some light in them. We'll take a look at the villagers in a moment. Um, we have another house here with two cauldrons and some emeralds. I'm not sure what this thing is supposed to be. Um, bathtub maybe? <laughs> I have no idea. But um, that's pretty cool right there. An interesting building. I love how they're making different buildings for the different houses or for the different villages. Here we actually have the stone cutter. Still, it has no effect to it, but it will definitely come in the future. Very excited to see what they will add for that. Um, we have another house over here, another hut thing. It's a pretty big one. It's a pretty big one, this one, actually. We got some makeshift flower pots here. We got another one of these fletching tables, another chest with an emerald in it. Of course, the things that I find in chests might not be the things you find, so be sure to uh, explore these villages and see what you find. Uh, we got another one here. I like how they all have chests in them. We have some more emeralds in this one. Really cool, really cool. And we got another house here with, again, another emerald inside it. Um, and I think this is the last one. I don't see any fountains in this one, though I do see like these waypoints or whatever it is here, which is pretty cool. This is just another one of those with a double door system. Pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I don't see any farms in this one. I might try and fly around to see if I can find another one out here. But yeah, that's pretty cool. That is basically the new Tiger Villages Village. Sorry. Obviously, there are buildings that I probably missed, but that just leaves something for you to explore as well. We got these new villages here. So we got the farmer with a straw hat, and it looks like he has some farming equipment and stuff. Pretty cool. Um, we have another guy over here. I'm guessing he's going to be the yeah leather worker. I guess he might be the blacksmith as well. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see if we can find another one around here. We got another farmer, if that's not the same guy. And of course, we had the librarian up here. Um, right here, we have the librarian. Pretty cool. And another farmer over here. Cool, cool. You know what? I think we'll jump right into getting to a desert village because that would be pretty awesome. Um, and we can take a look at some of the more villagers there. So I'll be right back with a desert village. And here we have a desert village. And I must say, it has been updated quite a 
bit wow but it looks really awesome we also got a pillager outpost over there so these guys have to be careful but um this looks really cool from above and really gives it like a desert feeling like something you would find in the desert but let's take a look now we got a cat here actually what on earth is this we got a cat here that's cool they actually did add a new cat in the game as well and i believe this might be the one because i don't remember seeing that one but we'll cover that in a moment but let's take a look at these houses um, we got the guy that do not trade at all. Um, we got a green bed in here, a dead bush. I like the use of jungle wood. Even though there's no jungle around, then it looks really awesome. We got a toolsmith in here. And a bit, of course, something that looks like a table. We got a cactus out here. Maybe he is using it for something, I don't know. Another area with like the chiseled sandstone. Pretty cool. And a cactus in the window. And... In, and Take, take a look at this. They don't have any glass in their um, homes. They have just open windows, probably because it's so hot, right? Then we got the shepherd, and I gotta say, these cats are so cute. We also got the bell here. Oh. It moves. It just doesn't say any sound, though. That must be a new thing as well. I haven't gotten that far. Um, as we can see here, we have another leather worker. We have the librarian. A cyan colored bed, pretty cool. Or an, wait, is that? Yeah, cyan bed, looks pretty cool. Matches my skin. Um, oh, here we got another. Also, I like the use of normal terracotta as well. It fits really well with the, th with the theme. Um, we got the well here. In my opinion, it should have been a little bit deeper, but I mean, it's fine. And also the bell is in a pretty random location. Also, that is a cat right there. This one we have a stair up, I believe this is a tower. And looking pretty good. We got a chest up here with some cacti and some emeralds. And here we are at the top and can overlook the entire village. Pretty, pretty cool. This looks like to be like a apartments like area, I guess. Maybe because it has different small rooms right next to each other. I don't know if that's random, but I'm guessing it might not be. Also, I like this pattern on the main road. And they've used smooth sandstone, which is pretty cool. We got like a library here, I guess, with another one of these um, lecterns and some carpet here. Really cool. Um, I think we've already covered that one. Looks like we have a pig pen here with some water. I like this water area using stairs. And like these overhangs for them to take cover from the sun. We also got another bed in here with a chest and another building, of course. These buildings seem like almost the same, but they are they are different actually, so they look pretty cool. And another chest in here, and this one, and another overhang. I don't know how these blacksmiths look like. Um, I haven't seen one yet from nor neither the desert nor the um the Taika village, so I don't know how those look like. Also, we got some random hay bales here and there. I don't see any farms, but I'm guessing that might be a possibility of spawning, but I'm not sure. I don't actually know that. But that is basically the village updates. Um, yeah, the desert village has been updated, and of course they added the Tiger village. Let us now take a look at the villagers themselves. So a new villager they added is the Mason Profession. Trades will come later, they say. Um, so that is a new villager they added. I do not believe... That it's one that you can actually search on. As you can see, no villager comes up. But um, also, I don't think I've seen him yet. I don't know how he looks like at all. They don't give that away right away um, on the wiki anyway. But we have the cartographer here. Looks really cool with his glass here. Uh, we got the farmer, of course, and we got another guy up here. I guess he's the fisherman. Yeah, he looks like a fisherman. He got a fish there. Pretty cool. We also got the toolsmith. Yeah, these guys are looking really, really cool. Also, they have added a new cat called Jelly. Um, I'm not sure how it looks like. If I find an image of it, I will definitely put it on the screen if I remember to do so. But yeah, there you go. They have added a new type of cat as well, the Jelly together with all of the other different types of cats. Like we got that one, then we got another white one over here somewhere, and we got the gray one. So I think you get the idea.
now it is on to some of the changes and we start with the blocks. They have finally added things for these blocks to do. So let's cover them and you can actually craft these now, which is really cool. The barrel is basically just like a chest. And the, but the cool thing about it is that it works in cramped spaces. Like if this was a chest, this would not work at all. Like if I just take a chest real quick and show you and put it in there, I cannot open it because it's a full block up here. But if I remove it, then I actually can. So that is really cool right there. And I do believe if I can spell and of course you can hold items just like any normal chest. But I do believe that this one also works with hoppers, of course, so that is an important thing to note as well. So if I put that in there, as you can see, it goes right through just like that. Really, really cool. Then we, I will show the crafting recipe. Actually, I'll show the crafting recipe right now. So to craft a barrel is pretty easy. You just need some planks. Actually, there we go. Just need some planks like that and a few slabs here and here, and you got yourself a barrel. Really easy to make, and in my opinion, they are really handy, and they also look really cool. And these, of course, you can find in villages as well. Actually, I should probably correct myself. The barrels can generate naturally in fissure cottages in plains, savannah, and snowy tundra villages. So apparently it's not in all villages that you can um, get these barrels here. So that's a thing to note. The next block to take a look at is the blast furnace, which now has a functionality. Um, blast furnaces function similar to a regular furnace, but they smelt ores faster than a regular furnace. Now it does say on the VK they have no proper UI, but do support hopper and dropper inputs and outputs, just like a regular furnace. But I don't know what they mean about the UI, because this is a GUI, and I actually don't know what they are talking about. But anyways, it is here and it is working. So if I were to take some coal, let us compare this actually. I'm gonna take a couple of key pieces of coal here, take that, and I'm gonna take a regular furnace, just like that. And I'm gonna put some coal in that one, put some coal in this one, and I'm gonna take an iron ore, a couple of these, I'm gonna give it in here. Okay, that goes pretty fast. Way faster. At least double than the old furnace. That is actually really cool. So that is what you can get with the blast furnace. Now let us take a look at how to craft this thing. You actually need some iron, which I already got. Um, then you need some of these smooth stones. And then you need, of course, a regular furnace, which I also got. So you put the smooth stone like that, take the furnace, Get yourself some iron and put it like that. And there you go. Blast furnace. Of course, I can always use the hoppers as well, just like usual. And if I can just place it like that, put the coal in here, it goes into the coal slot. And if I have something to smelt, oh, I don't know what it should be. Uh, let's take some glass, sand. Let's make some glass. Why not? Actually, it can't. It cannot smelt glass. That is interesting. That is not all things. It's not all things that you can smelt. Let us try and take some cobblestone. Let's try and take a gold ore and let's try and take something food like thing. Raw rabbit, why not? Okay, let's get that. Okay, so it does not smell cobble, it does smell the ore. So let's take that. But not food, so I guess the blast furnace only works with ores actually. It does not say that on the wiki. Um from what I can tell, but yeah, so the blast furnace only works with ores, but on the other hand, it is really fast when doing so. So that is really exciting. Um, and I can definitely imagine people's spaces with all kinds of furnace setups um, with these things, with the different furnaces. So that is really cool right there. But as you can see, the item went down here and went from this one into the furnace and then down here and the fuel came from the backs, just like a regular furnace. Also, the blast furnace can be generated in armor houses in plains, savannah, and snowy tundra villages. So that is another thing to note. Not all villages will have these, at least not yet. Then we have this smoker, which is kind of like the blast furnace. Um, it does not say that it swells things faster, just like the other one, but we're going to test this out. 
Again, this one has support for Harper um, input and output. So if I were to put the call in from behind, it will add it. But let us now try some different things that I can imagine people would like to use it for. Let's take some food. You know what? Let's take some. Uh, what can we think of? Let's get something we can burn. Let's try and make some charcoal, maybe. Let's get, you know what? I need some stone. Um, you know what? Let's take one of each. Let's take, uh, let's take like an iron ore or something. Iron ore. Let's see. I think it will be able to spell pretty much anything at this current point in time. Um, though the L is actually spelling things a lot faster. That is with the food anyway. Ah, I thought so. I did think so. Okay, so the smoker, it does not say this on the wiki for some reason. I guess they are not done finishing it. But the smoker, you use that to burn or cook food. And it is, again, at least twice as fast than a normal furnace that you can see right there. It goes actually pretty quickly. Um, if we were to take a normal furnace and compare the two, put it right here, takes out the coal. See that compared to that. At least twice as fast or something similar to that. So the smoker, you use that for food, it cooks food faster than a regular furnace. Like the blast furnace cooks ores faster than a regular furnace. And also these smokers can be generated in butcher houses in plain savannah and snowy tundra villages. So that is another thing, of course, to note. And I gotta say so far, this is really interesting. Oh, and of course, the items drop right out, just like it should do. <laughs> I was actually trying to see if... Yes, of course, a hopper can take out the contents of a barrel as well. But that is the barrel, the blast furnace, and the smoker given to you right there. I'm really excited in using these in my Minecraft survival worlds when these come out. So I'm very excited about this. Let us now go on to the next subject. After I have shown you how to craft a smoker, because I completely forgot that, so you take any log, put it like so, and a regular furnace in the middle, and you've got your smoker. It could be any log whatsoever, as far as I can see. So there you go, the smoker. Wonderful. Ding dong doom. Done. Then we have some changes to the villagers. Of course, they have gotten some new fancy skins, which we can see in the background and already have taken a look at. But also, cured subby villagers now retain their traits, which is really cool. So if one of these guys were to get transformed and they had some really good traits, if cured, they should keep their um, traits. So that is really cool because that would just be really bad. Like you've just gotten that one villager who sells you a mending book for not that many emeralds and a, um, a something happened, a mistake happens and he gets turned into a zombie and that's, that's that. That's really bad. But now you can actually save it and get that straight back. So that is really cool right there. Now some info on the raids. Patrol captains, like the patrols that you sometimes can see walking around the world, um, their captains now give between one and three bad omen levels when killed. And I do believe the higher the level is, the bigger the raid will be if you walk in a village with a bad omen effect. Um, outpost captains always give one bad omen only. And apparently there is going to be a captain over here. If we take a look, we should see a captain, I believe. Also, this is something that I missed in that snapshot. Occasionally you will find a iron golem in these cages they have captured. Um, but yes, let us try and find this captain here if he's around. Okay, I can't actually find him, so I'm guessing he's not currently here. But occasionally you will then find a um, outpost captain here. And if you kill him, he will basically give you one level of bad omen. But if you kill a patrol captain, you will um, occasionally get between one. Or you will get either one or from one to three bad omen levels. Also, of course, captains now spawn at outposts, though I was not able to find one over there unless he slipped and fell in one of the caves. So, yeah, but they should, they should spawn at, um, at these outposts now. But again, 
I have not seen one yet. So it might only be a thing that happens sometimes, or I don't know. Maybe I'll try and find another one to see if I can find one. Also, beasts, the villager beasts, or the pillager beasts. Wait, what are they called again? <laughs> beast. Let's take a look here. Illager beast. Yes, let's spawn one over here. Um, they start at. We're still talking about raids, by the way. Um, they start at wave two, which is at wave four, and evokers will start at wave 10. So I actually don't know how many waves are in like one raid. All right, I think I figured it out. Each time you kill a captain, in this case, let's say I killed a patrol captain and I get level three. For each level, two waves will spawn at a raid. So if I have level three, six waves will appear. And if I were to kill like another patrol, in that time and crank that up to five from my understanding there will be like 10 10 waves of course you could also give the bad omen effect to yourself um to give you the highest of the levels i don't know if there actually is a limit of the how high you can make it you know what let's try it. so that is effect give bad omen and then let's try 10. actually let's try 100 something crazy and i got let me just get over here. You know what? Let's talk a little bit about the raids. So that we can see I have bad omen. It does not actually save the level. But um I'm just gonna do effect and then clear. Clear myself. And the raid is now currently going. As you can see, the boss bar starts filling up, and we are currently at the first wave. I don't see where these guys are coming from. But also, oh here they are. Here they are, they are storming. Um, but also the boss bar, of course, will go down until there is, when well, there's three remaining, then it will show how many beasts are actually remaining. Let's just kill a couple of these guys here. As you can see, the boss bar is going down. I just want to try and show off when things start happening here. So at wave two, the illegit beasts should that spawning so as you can see mouth remaining two and we have a guy here too there we go that should be all of them now the next wave should start in a second oh we still got one here he does not know where to go apparently let's kill him there we go all right that should be the first wave done i think let's just check it here yes everything is clear in here and it still says one remaining even though there is not one remaining it did this too when i try to figure out what was going on when i actually reviewed this in my snapchat or took or took a look at this apparently it is i feel like it is buggy but um yeah i don't know what is going on here the next wave should begin from my understanding also a thing to note the maximum amount of waves is 10 so even if i were to have a hundred level of bad omen only 10 waves Will be able to spawn from my understanding so that is a thing to note i just discovered that um i don't know why it says one mob remaining when there's no one about so i guess that's a bug and that's a very interesting looking thing um but anyways that is pretty much it then we got some issues that was fixed so we have seven fixes and welcome to the future how i'm not sure <laughs> <laughs> they updated their wiki while I was editing, so there's new stuff that I did not see before that I now have to quickly cover just before I render the video. Mainly the bell, because... Listen to that. Yes, they upgraded the bell, they added a sound, has a shaking animation, and they changed its textures and it looks pretty cool. Though, you can only hit it from the side. I cannot click on it here, but when I click on it from the side... That's cool, that's really cool. I wonder, does it get triggered with a redstone? 
thing. No. It does that, which is actually pretty cool. It's a thing you have to use your hand for. That's <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, and another thing is that they say that they added different types of villager outfits for different biomes. It literally says on the wiki, villagers and zombie villagers now have seven skin types which correspond to the following biomes. Plains, desert, savanna, tiger, snowy tundra or snowy tiger, jungle, swamp. So these guys are apparently the plains villagers um, and also you should be able to see, they say, um, villagers now each has one of the five profession levels which can be seen on the badge on their suits um, and then they say details needed so I guess they are working on the um, on that on the wiki as well but I'm gonna try and find another village to compare these guys and take a look at the for example a desert village compared to these guys as well and here you can see it is bad quality, but I took it. I took it from the wiki. Here you can see the different suits the different guys have, and these are the plains villagers. So let's take a look at them. Here we have the blast furnace, and he's looking really cool with his mask up there. We got the chef. We got the uh, that guy seems like the librarian. This guy because he has that table there. We got the potion guy. We got a apparently one who doesn't do anything the same with this guy then we got the grindstone guy then we got the smith guy then we got the loom guy then we got the grindstoner and the, um, another librarian i guess actually this could eh, i'm not sure <laughs> then we got another guy we got the cauldron here then we got the fletcher then we got the farm i believe this guy is or the fisherman actually that is the fisher guy i don't know why they put this here since this seems to be the farmer but well there we got them and I'm currently at a desert village now, and I think they are fixing things as we go. I don't think the snapshot is currently complete because there is literally no one home. I don't know if my... I'm just gonna put those up, but I can't see anyone here at all. So I can't even show you these, these guys. <laughs> Definitely. Now I'm at a savannah village and... Wait, I heard a door. Yes. <laughs> there is one alive. Though I don't think he has changed, but I think it is something that they are working on. So, um... Well, I think they're still doing stuff and also I see... Oh, we got a farmer here. We got the farmer. Though I don't think he has changed, so I think that is something they are currently probably working on as we speak but now that'll be it for this snapshot video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned if you got any questions and or suggestions be sure to leave a comment down below subscribe if you're new to the channel and leave a like if you enjoyed and yeah i hope to see you next time be sure to join my discord server link down below and follow me on twitch and twitter and yeah hope to see you next time have a nice day Bye bye